The prosecution asserts that the two accused, Mr. William Ruto and Mr. Joshua Arab Sang, are among the most responsible for the crimes of murder, of persecution, and deportation that occurred in the Rift Valley. The prosecution will demonstrate that Mr. Ruto and his syndicate of powerful allies, including his co-accused, Mr. Sang, sought to exploit the historical tensions between Kalenjin and Kikuyu for their own political and personal ends. Your Honours, the evidence which the prosecution will present will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the crimes for which Mr. Ruto and Mr. Sang are charged were not just random and spontaneous acts of brutality. On the contrary, this was a carefully planned, coordinated, and executed campaign of violence, specifically targeting perceived PNU supporters, targeting their homes, and targeting their businesses. Mr. Ruto's ultimate goal was to seize political power for himself and his party through violent means. And this was in the event that he could not do so through the ballot box. By exhorting his supporters to rid the lift valley of the Kikuyu, Mr. Ruto and his network also sought to permanently alter the ethnic composition of the area in order to consolidate his political power, his political power base amongst the Kalenjin. As the senior trial lawyer, Anton Steinberg, will explain in more detail, the prosecution will prove that this campaign of violence was conceived, planned, and implemented by a network of influential Kalenjin. They were led by their anointed leader, Mr. William Bruto, a powerful political figure in the Rift Valley. Over a period of 18 months prior to the elections, in a series of private and public messages, Mr. Ruto assembled this network, using to his advantage existing Kalenjin community structures and customs. He assigned responsibilities. He raised finance. He procured weapons and hosted meetings in furtherance of the criminal aims of the network. Using community structures, he gathered together an army of loyal Kalenjin youth to go to war for him in the event of an election loss. He also stoked the flames of anti-Kikuyu sentiment, both personally at public rallies and indirectly through other influential speakers and through the media. And when the election was lost, he gave the order to attack. In this way, he made an essential contribution to the violence that ensued. The main mouthpiece used by Mr. Ruto to spread his message was his co-accused, Mr. Joshua Arab Sang. Mr. Sang was a popular radio presenter at CAS FM, a major Kalenjin radio station. Mr. Sang placed his prime time radio show at the disposal of the network to spread their message and coordinate their activities. Mr. Sang broadcast anti-Kikuyu rhetoric, spread the word of Mr. Ruto's rallies, and even helped to coordinate the actual attacks through decoded messages. In this way, he too contributed to the violence. Mr. President, your honors, the prosecution submits that under international criminal law, each of the accused is therefore criminally responsible for the acts of murder, deportation, persecution that are set out, Mr. President, in the document containing the charges.